Okay, mom. So basically, what we're doing. Why are you having so hard? It feels like an interview. <laughs> so basically, what we want you to. <laughs> okay, okay. So basically, what we want you to do is we want you to explain um, where Convalor came from. Kind of give us the backstory of how that all came about to you. Juan Valor came from my dad. As parents, you're always telling your kids something, and it's usually a good advice that you try to install in them. To, um, you have to obey the laws of the world and obey the laws of God. Every day that I would walk out to catch the bus, he would say, y con valor. And one day I told him, well, why do you always tell me that? And he said, because I want you to be brave. Wherever you go, you be brave. Whatever you do, you be brave. If you're going to make a decision, have a backbone. Be strong about your decision. Um, if you're honest and, and obedient, making the right choices comes easy. So you be brave about what you decide to do or what you're going to do. So that's where that came from. Um, do you remember like the situation or whatever happened that you told that to Vanessa? Do you remember like one well, point? Because I remembered him always telling me, I started to tell, and I thought I kind of kept it up with everybody else, but I might have just done it with her and Zach. No, what I think it was was that she really, you two were like best friends. like. Well, more so with her because she was the first and she was the first to start experiencing things. So as she would go out doing things, like for example, when she was ready to start driving, I would tell her, my Lord, you know, be brave. And then I explained to her where that came from. And I think she was the most open out of all of us to tell you stuff. Yes. And so I think that's why you guys were more. Well, we had that relationship. It was an open relationship where she could call me and tell me or come to me and tell me. And, and we, we trust you so much, so when you tell us something, we, we do whatever you say. But I do remember her, like anything you would tell her, she always wrote it down. So I think that's why you telling her this was more impactful on her than us, because she just really loved what you would tell her. And Well, she, she trusted me, like you said, and then she was real obedient. Um, and because she did trust me, she figured, okay, my mom said, so she would just go for it. And then she just come back to find out that it did work and it was okay. And she would have this list on her phone, like little quotes that you would say. And I would remember that one being there. But there was other ones that I can't remember now, but she had this list. I remember she showed me this list and I, was, I, would th I thought to myself, am I just, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think she kind of started that because she also liked to, um, write poems. Remember she was always writing a poem for everything. She was going to her first concert when she was um, playing basketball. I would tell her, you know, be brave, con valor. Just play out there, just be strong. Or Wait, what happened in the army that she actually had, a, that actually went to the I think it got to the point she was really missing us. Because all along she was brave enough because she had a goal. You know, her ultimate goal was she was going to go to the army because it was going to pay for her college. Well, what did you think when he got here? <laughs> We're little. Yeah, but... So did we tell you this army guy's coming? And did we tell you what yeah, was going to happen? Yeah, that she was going to leave. Well, at that point, you were probably the only one crying, but there was different periods before she actually left that everybody had their little share of, of crying because it was the thought of, of just missing her. Because it didn't matter who you would tell, they would say, the girly girl, she's the one that's going to go. Are you sure? <laughs> Nobody thought that she would make it. Yeah. I mean, she made she Well, made I think it. we didn't want to cry when that guy came because we didn't want her to feel bad. Well, I remember one of the times she told me, Mom, don't cry because you don't make it any easier for me. I'm going to be okay. What did you think when she got a tattoo? And be honest. Well, first of all, she didn't ask my permission, not that she had to. Second of all, she never even warned me or gave me hints or anything that it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Third of all, she didn't even tell me. But 
it was like I said right at the moment where I knew that she was missing us a lot because she had already told me and she had already been coming so much that after a while it was like they stopped her from coming and I think at that point she she used that for motivation to stick it through because being that type of environment it's not easy well I don't know exactly when she actually got it if she was feeling emotional or she was upset I'm kind of leaning more to where somebody pissed her off because she was also dealing with that supervisor, remember? She was. I remember when I asked her, because they were coming back from Afghanistan, I think, or something, and I said, Sh you and Zach are coming back as totally different people. Both of you guys got tattoos, blah, blah, blah. And she told me, well, the, the army does change you. Why do you think she put Convalor in that spot? Well, she told me it's because, do you remember every time she gets stressed, I, I remember I would always see her like, go like this. Mm -hmm. Well, she said she put it there because when she goes like this, and it was she always does that with her left hand. It was that way she could open her eyes and see and remember. And you know what's amazing that you just said that? Her her Nina does the same thing. Really? Every time she's upset or really thinking, she goes like that, and she puts uses this on every time. But that's why she placed it there, which so, I thought was really smart because she always did that often when she was stressed or thinking really hard and it was right there. So she put it there I'm just glad that she did it in her handwriting and not like some kind well, of that's another thing person. so our Are Vanessa's tattoo pencil? was on this left arm and it, she did it in her own handwriting I'll show you a picture yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> right here <laughs> it'd be like <laughs> after she passed away how, how did we like, why did we say like that's what we're going to What happened was I think we were all kind of grasping memory of her to keep within our heart, not, not necessarily just like a picture or, or, um, or like an item or something. We wanted something, we were grasping for something just to keep it like right in our heart. And I don't know why Ferdinand was the first one that that's what came to his mind. And I do not like tattoos, I do not agree on tattoos, <laughs> but when he asked me for his, how could I say no? It was at the moment, like, had he asked me while she was still alive, I would tell, I would have probably told him to wait till he was 18 and then what he did, I can't control. But at that moment, that was his way of feeling her close to him and how could I say no? And again, I agreed with the condition that he would use the exact same handwriting. So we made three different types of these. Um, we made a pink one, a black one, and an army one. It says Combalod, and there's two butterflies. The butterflies, Vanessa means butterfly, so that's why we added that. In the back, it's the meaning which it says, be strong, brave, and not afraid. And there's a four for our late cousin, and then there's an elephant because our nephew loved elephants. The pink is because my sister's favorite color was fuchsia, it's the closest color. The black just to have a, ver uh, a variety for the guys. And then the army was for um, her completing her four year term. For her and for Brandon for being in the army too. So these have a lot of meaning. And then they glow in the dark. What did you say again? That um, was... The glow in the dark is to keep their spirit alive. But like I want to glow in the dark because I've never seen these in the glow in the dark. But after he said that, it's like so true because sometimes when I'm sleeping and like, I see it glowing, yeah. I'm like... And then like when you can't sleep and you wake up and you're wearing it and it's glowing in the dark. Yeah. yeah. We made these right after one of... Um, our great friends did a, a play in memory of her and we wanted to give them to the kids that did that play because it's it meant they so much to us. Reenacted as each one of us. It was it was the cutest thing. But it, we really wanted to make sure we we gave them something to, to remember. remember and to rely on. We've passed these around to all our cousins and they still wear them to this day every day faithfully. And and we don't we haven't said anything, like told them anything, but we always notice. We always notice when somebody's wearing these.
And it probably gives you a really good warm feeling. Yeah. That they carry your sister with them. Cool. So if you guys see these are on some of my videos of people wearing them, they're the real ones. <laughs> <laughs> so that we have the more people. To see. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we have a few of the pink ones left. So if you want one, comment down below and we'll try to get you one. Okay? Let us know.